Welcome back to J Spring. The last time I was at J Fall, I think it was 2006. It was completely different, a different location. And I just remember I I I I, I went a long time by train and then arrived. And uh, then at no no time, so after 13 years, so welcome back. So thank you. And um, so who are, who am I? I'm uh, Adam Bean, freelancer, and I really enjoy Java. And um, and uh, what I do, I write uh, blog posts, not to, I would say, not to not to forget things, um, some online trainings and uh, podcasts, and the podcast getting more and more interesting. So uh, right now uh, we have some podcasts uh, about uh, Kafka and, and Quarkus and uh, stuff what interests me and uh, where I have no time actually to discuss with people on conferences. And James Gosling was there, Scott McNeely, and, and so forth. So, um, but there are no ads, which is unusual. I get no constant questions about ads, um, but I don't like ads, so there is no ads. So, now, uh, why I'm still enjoying Java, I guess, because uh, what I try to do is um, I try to learn something, and uh, uh, this is what is popular or accepted in companies and stick with it. And it works actually rel relatively good for me, at least. Um, one client, um, I, I started by a client in 2005 and recreated a, a uh, architecture for uh, Java 5, which is uh, back then was uh, new, and but was reasonable, you know, no layers, just business logic. And they called me last year and said, thank you. So uh, we survived all the years without any migration back and forth. We were ultra productive, small team delivered, you know, huge thing, what we can improve. And now we deleted, you know, some more interfaces and value objects and whatever uh, stuff which doesn't matter. And they are ever happier than before, but they could focus fully 14 years on business logic and ignore to know all the, all the fancy frameworks which uh, came and died, actually. And as you remember, in 2006, I was constantly asking in 2005 whether they should migrate to Ruby on Rails. And uh, I, I would say uh, this, wasn't, this wouldn't be a very good idea back then. So, by the way, this should be an interactive presentation. So if you say you are, uh, if you're not, you know, uh, satisfied with what you're saying, just challenge me right now and say, you know, all is crap and uh, com too complicated to, uh, I don't know what you are showing, it will never work in my company because or whatever. So I'm also a developer, not a speaker, so um, yeah. Now, some online courses and uh, uh, the first time I created a poll uh, to Twitter and asked, you know, uh, uh, what would you like to see more front end, more back end? And uh, most of you, this surprised me, were interested in back end. And uh, some in front end on what's really concerning here in Netherlands, 10% uh, just wanted to see slides. <laughs> and I say, uh, this was actually, um, okay, this is uh, uh, how it could be. So now question again, who is more interested in back end? Wow, and front end? Okay, this is representative. So, and actually, hey, hey, hey yeah, uh, who, who slides, exactly? Oh, very good, okay. So now just for you, actually, there should be hate code, uh, show me animated slides, but there was no more room, as it was too long for a tweet. So what I did the very first time in my, in my career, I implemented this, and this probably caused the problem with your Sony uh, protection system. You see that? <laughs> I never did before, so uh, the first time I created animated slide for all the others, so this. And now the next slide says, um, the, uh, someone uh, said, uh, um, are you here? No. So, someone said, okay, because what you would sh show us is just this, and this is partially true. What I usually do, you use web components and, and lit HTML and tools like Rollup. And by the way, what I do, I would say almost 50% of my time, we are killing all JavaScript frameworks because the companies are sick of migrating back and forth. They just would like to focus on, you know, on the stuff. So we are removing frameworks with, uh, with nothing, with just uh, web standards. And it's going better and better, and it becomes really great when um, Internet Explorer becomes uh, basically Chrome, right? Or Internet Explorer or Edge becomes Chrome. Um, it is not a good for ecosystem, but really great for enterprise apps. Now, that's basically was. So if you like, come to Munich, and this is the last slide. So uh, the first time I started Keynote, and this caused probably uh, problems. So, um, so what I would like to start with, let's do this. I would, I would code with a... Uh, as long as possible with backend and then switch a little bit to frontend because if you no one interested who, who cares about JavaScript then, right? So um, so what I would like to do is set up a project and, um, uh, by the way, last week I was in a company that did something to do with rock stars and we did rock stars bands and music. and uh, But now we have more current topic is, topic is trains. So I would like to create a trains micros microservice. And what happens right now is um, it happens slowly because uh, 
it tries to fetch the catalog from Maven Central. This is my own ar archetype. And, uh, and how long it takes, it really depends on timeout or without internet, <laughs> it's the fastest because there is nothing to pull. And, um, and, um, and I would also like to start first a usual IDE, I would say, and then do something else. So what I would like to do is to implement uh, a little bit uh, what I actually do all the time, um, a microservice, a, an unusual one, I would say, because something changed. So what changed in the last one and a half years in my projects, or two years, I always go with that. So what it means is this uh, Java 8, you probably know, boring old stuff. You say, OK, uh, nothing new. But all major application servers support microprofile. And microprofile, I would say, is really good. So really good means uh, it uh, solves, I mean, pro problems, current problems, which uh, could change in time. Let's say they, they for instance, investigating right now GraphQL. So it could be cool right now, but could die in three years. Who knows, right? But uh, there will be probably a microprofile GraphQL spec. So, and what it means for my projects is the boring old application servers are stable. So Java 8 will never change. And on top of that, we get microprofile for free. And microprofile, we get four releases a year. So new features a year. And uh, so, OK, so this is what I wanted to show you with that. And this is project, also setup, I use all the time. Also in commercial projects, it's not like I created the archetype for the, for the talks, uh, more for commercial projects. And um, how it looks like, we have an endpoint with ping resource. It should be, of course, train in a, in a second. Ping message Java E uh, with micro profile. This, this is returned, of course. And this is the only setup I need. It's Jack's REST configuration extends um, application. And what I also have is a bin 6 ml and this bin 6 ml activates the uh, dependency injection everywhere. So this is the only setup I have, no XML, no web XML, nothing, right? And this is also true in commercial projects. So now, um, so about trains. So how we would approach that, so what, uh, what you could do or what you should do is to create, to think in packages. So usually we will get here an, um, a name for a, uh, for, of the application. Let's say this was trains, right? So trains. And then, um, and then boundary for, for something API-like and a trains resource. This is what, what uh, I would uh, do. And the train path uh, trains. Oh, by the way, what I forgot, um, WebSphere is the science, uh, seems to be very popular. So I start something similar. It's called uh, Liberty. It is like uh, the new edition of WebSphere. So I will, uh, I will run in background, and, um, and later we can switch to something else. Doesn't matter, actually. This is also cool. I could use Whitefly, WebSphere, Open Liberty, Payara, Tommy, and, 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 and swap the runtimes as I like. So I don't really care about that. Why I'm using a, a WebSphere like now? Because I was told, you know, I use too much Glassfish, and they suspected to have something a special relation with Glassfish or Payara. So now I'm using a little bit uh, Liberty. So to, uh, and, 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 and what, what happened? I already get a comment on YouTube whether I switch from Glassfish to uh, Open Liberty, whether they should, you know, kill Glassfish. So no, no, I, just, I cannot use just one thing. So. Um, and then uh, trains. So now, uh, what I also did, I created a small tool. This is just Java, and, and it actually doesn't matter. I use it personally. I created it for me. It's called Watch and Deploy because Seek and Destroy was uh, uh, not, not that uh, nice. So Watch and, it and what it does, it is just one jar, seven classes around, and this is Java SE7 project. It watches uh, changes in source main Java, and on every change, it and says Maven clean install. So on every change, Maven clean install happens behind the scenes, OK? So why I did it, I can deploy right now to all servers at, at, at once without any IDE plugins, OK? And this, the idea came in a JavaScript uh, uh, workshop where a JavaScript uh, developer asked me, uh, do you have in Java something which watches the changes and deploys on demand? It's like actually a great idea. So now, the uh, thin war was created in 4 kilobyte. And by the, by the way, it is never significantly larger than 4K. Uh, or 4K, under one Mac. This is what I want to say, 4K is always larger than 4K. But um, the, um, the most microservices we write are, are, are way smaller than one Mac. Why? Because if you're building boring apps, and boring means you just focus on business logic, um, 
the whole libraries you need, and there are more and more, MicroProfile, Java 8, and soon, you know, Jakarta, whatever, um, they are already supported by the server, so there is no need to package them again and ship it with, uh, with the application, right? So um, let's see whether something happened, um, and uh, or nothing, because there is no code. So we need uh, some train. So let's say we have a train, and um, and by the way, I was once um, in the Apple 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 Dorn, I think, and I was almost late, and the reason was the train was late because there were leaves on the rails. And I never, I, in Germany, the trains are also, also, also late, but I never heard such an excuse. <laughs> so I was like, this is actually, if someone, and if I'm late, I can now tell, no, because leaves were on the road or something, right? Um, the train, and the train has a color for sure. There is a yellow and, and, and blue, and, and this, is, this is good enough. So I have just uh, two, uh, yeah, um, two properties. And what I would like to do is I have to have to return the train in a method uh, train. And this is a get request, and the train has to be imported and uh, return new train. And they, the train from today was fast, and the color was the yellow and blue. So, and it we can do this, and I have to tell to WebSphere, this is the difference, uh, produces, produces a media type, media type, and say what it is, and this is, ah, why is it so slow, you will see at the end, if we manage uh, something else running on my machine, which basically kills the performance, but um, this, is, um, this is that, and, uh, oh, this was a, already the new syntax, so, and let's see whether it compiled the thing. It didn't, and why not? Yeah, it was built, sorry. It, it did. So, it should work, and now let's see what happens. I go to localhost 9080, uh, is the web sphere, uh, Liberty, and what we had, we had trains, uh, it is a little bit strange, resources trains. And what I got already is the JSON. And this not all, what I also got is open API, which is basically Swagger. And because this is JSON B, it already looked at the schema and extracted data from the schema. And because um, this is open liberty, so I can say, give me please the trains and execute that. And uh, I got this. So what you already saw is, Actually, this is stock application server. Actually, the Payara I installed, reinstalled completely fresh before the session, because I thought if I saw some, th something, there were too many applications installed. The cool story is to install that, is download, I forgot, like 80 megs or 120 megs, it doesn't matter from the internet, and, and, and you're ready to go. Okay? So um, what you also get for free is, let's say, how often the train was late. So what we could do, or, uh, or just do something simple. Let's say I would like to have some metrics, and uh, metered is better. And uh, so I just put the metered, and uh, now what I can do, I can re-execute this, execute, and then I get also for free matrix application, and what I get is my application performance of the metered, and by the way, as I said, what happens behind the scenes, a full Maven rebuild and copy CP to the and, re, uh, the, and redeploys fully redeployment on, on WebSphere. So this is like the slowest possible experience you, you, you can get. No live rebel, no J rebel, nothing, right? Absolute no tricks. I even disabled my plugin on NetBeans. Not one suspects me that something magic happens behind the scenes. Okay, what you see here, the strange format is, uh, is um, Prometheus format. So uh, what, it, what it means is, um, so if I do it again, I see the Prometheus, but uh, because in micro profile, if you don't like Prome or you, you don't have uh, you don't have Prometheus, what you can do, I can say I accept uh, application application. I would expect more criticism, like you know what you are showing us is completely stupid or whatever, right? So just feel free to criticize me and say uh, so, and you get the same as Jason. 
Questions? So now, um, so we can, the train's resource, so we can actually get a proper train. And the proper train tries goes uh, public void slow because of leaves, right? And uh, this thing um, will, for instance, uh, throw new illegal state exception and say uh, too slow. And uh, so if I call that, so I can just in inject the train and use the train. So this injected train. Uh, what? Ah, I have two trains. Uh, this should be, uh, how to call it, the, uh, we need locomotive. Otherwise I get a clash and uh, I don't like to fiddle with the imports right now. So we have here inject another train. This completely stupid. We have to inject the locomotive, of course. And now the, the locomotive lock uh, to string is somehow interesting, but s uh, slow because of leaves. So if I try it again and do it now here, HTTP localhost 8080. No, 9080. Uh, trains, resources, trains, I think. Uh, so nothing happened. Something happened, probably. So 500 internal server error, which is ugly. And usually you would expect, you know, stack trace from hell, all major servers improved, but still is not, not nice. So um, the easiest possible way to handle such an error is just leaves on rails exception. And this exception can extend um, web application exception. And uh, this, I will just create a constructor with the message. And here I can put my own message. So response uh, status. And now would be, let's say, bad request or something. I, I don't even know how to header info leaves, right, and uh, build. So we have that, and what I can do right now, I can say, uh, okay, here, of course, I would like to use my exception, leaves on rails, and now retry that, and uh, I probably have an error, leave on rails. Not saved. Leave locomotive throw knee leaf on the rails web application actually looks really good and this is what I wanted to do curl but it's not deployed was updated probably is because it's already too big already six k so. Um, was updated, and this is also, yeah. Um, what should work, it actu actually works fairly well, so I have no idea why it doesn't. Um, what should happen, it should actually return 400, because this is my way of, uh, of, of converting the error to the, uh, but this bothers me usually, this is, this is what always works. Clean liberty means delete everything. And this means uh, start the server from scratch. And um, this was actually um, s such, yeah, this is a full deployment. So actually, uh, either I have somewhere compiler error, but it compiles. Um, but um, what happens behind the scenes is the, the error is automatically converted, is catched by the JAXRS runtime, and you get the 400 with custom headers. So uh, the point is you don't need to try catch uh, or exception mappers. So they are not needed in JaxRS. So uh, you can you can delete a lot of code with that. So um, cool or not cool? Try it again. And there were the trains. It's not deployed. Now 
I have no idea what happened. Uh, what you see, 400 bad requests and info leaves, and uh, this is what I wanted to show you. There's no more stack trace, no more exception. So with that, but this is old stuff. It's like, you know, seven years old, but I still see, you know, huge efforts to catch exceptions or map exceptions or something else. Questions so far? No questions. So let's say what I would like to do here, right? So uh, I am the train. I would say, okay, I don't believe you with the leaves. Uh, so just go faster and try this. Two times. So, um, and now, if I do this, uh, update it, yeah. There should be go faster, go faster, go faster, and then get the 400 bad request. It tried three times and couldn't deliver, right? And then I get the error. I so, said, okay, this is not nice. So then, so okay. Okay, slow. And um, so, and what I can do right now is I, okay, fallback is uh, fallback method and okay, slow. So now try the same. So now, I get still bad requests, of course. And somewhere should be slow. Huh? Okay. Um, yeah, it, it works. So, um, yeah, I was surprised, like, what, what is that? So it's a completely different application, but uh, go, uh, go faster, go faster, slow. Okay. So, um, questions about that? No questions. So, what about Docker? So, let's say I would like, I can, I think. So, business metrics I will leave because this is, what I saw right now, this comes from fault tolerance and circuit breakers and uh, bulkheads, everything included, timeouts, so I can use it out of the box. And uh, the other was uh, Matrix API. And probably, if you like, what do you, oh, sorry, would you like the picture? Do the picture fast? Done. So now, now uh, set up Prometheus. This is what, uh, what I also do a lot. And I am not very good with YAML, I have to admit. I don't, who likes YAML? So I, this is, like, no, 95% of developers hate YAML, and we get YAML everywhere. So I, I really, I never, and always, if I, sh if I show this, people ask me, you know, why we have to do this? Like, this is not, not my fault. I mean, I was not involved with Kubernetes and all the stuff. I, I mean, uh, so we can say uh, it scrapes five, every five seconds. J job name is the train monitoring, metrics application, and targets 9080, I think. And what I could do right now is I could actually say, uh, wait a second, Prometheus. Yeah. Um, I would like to start Prometheus with this config. And I think 1990, right? You know it? I always forget. Uh, 1990, I think, is Prometheus. Yes. And what I can, what I should have, you see already the monitoring. I can go here and say, I don't know, uh, train total, execute, graph, and uh, if I do something, I will see on the graph. So it's already well inter integrated, so Prometheus is ready to go. It scrapes already the metrics from WebSphere, from a six kilobyte big microservice. Okay? So now the question is, uh, so okay, everything nice, but sh okay, but the huge application server, how does this work with Docker? And uh, what, what already in, so where's my IDE here? Files and Docker file. And I would like to use Payara. Glassfish also works, but there's more bugs. Uh, Payara is like, you know, patched Glassfish. And, um, and now I go to trains and say maven clean install and docker build minus t uh, jspring trains dot. So this is the name, T tag should work, and this is so this is full build outside of the application server. 
And oh, my Docker is not running. So. What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, here's the Maven commit. Uh, uh, sorry. I, um, if he's in the room, I always do, of course, a package. And what I never, what I clean, don't do use clean, right? So clean, you should never use clean, always package. Um, he was in my couple of my presentation and always said, you know, okay, so um, this and uh, Docker is launching now. Now I forgot Docker. Uh, I shut down Docker because I wanted to show you something else. And what I wanted to show you, let's take the time until Docker boots, uh, is this. And uh, what runs on my machine behind the scenes is a Kubernetes called also OpenShift. So it's a Kubernetes distribution mini shift. And um, and there is my play project called Airhex, and there are two Quarkus images, but forgot them. I was just uh, I wanted to delete them, but it's nice to to show Quarkus if someone interested. But um, so now, and what I would like to do is now to do something different to push Payara full to OpenShift, and uh, this is Payara S2I. On S2I is the slowest possible variant. What Payara S2I is, it would. Uh, uh, configure itself from uh, from as admin commands. So this is slow, and then if you like, I can do whitefly um, trains. And uh, what it does, it will start Maven again because I sometimes forget it. And then it will create a application. So now it uploads the file, and um, actually, it we have trains which uh, uh, builds itself, so we have the pre-boot and post-boot, so this is actually a real thing from projects. Usually, it will be a lot faster here. What I'm doing here, I'm configuring the server, uh, starting, configuring, and creating an image on the fly. And, um, and it's a little bit slow. I think it tries to go, no, yeah, it's a little bit slow, but um, because I'm starting the Docker at the same time. And now the application is available, should be available. And of course, what I can tell, I can also say, um, let's little, make it a little bit smaller. I can say, OC scale DC trains replicas. Uh, no, no, uh, I was, I think this, replicas equals two. Two, so, and now the load balance is reconfigured, I have two servers, Payara, completely different server, running in, on Kubernetes on my machine, and I forgot, uh, and WebSea is also running on my machine, I think, and Docker is also running, so I think right now what will happen is what you saw in the keynote, it will be on fire, I think, yeah, in a second or so. But the point is, so now I have the same train application running on uh, Kubernetes or OpenShift, trains, resources, trains, hopefully it works. Yeah, this is a little bit small, but this is not the problem of Java E. So we have this, and then um, we also have here, hopefully, Matrix. It's a completely different server, Matrix, and the application Matrix, which I apply. Yeah, thank you. So, and we have the application Matrix. So this was a completely different server on uh, on 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 uh, on. Um, Kubernetes, and um, now OC delete all minus L app equals trains. So everything is gone right now. And I could do the same with Whitefly. This is what actually uh, trains. And this will be the same, and we should see Whitefly in a second. And this is going to be faster because I'm not con reconfiguring Whitefly here. So, um, so it res retrieves uh, the war, and now the server is available in the cloud. And the cool story is um, I'm actually working quite a lot with startups because if they see this, they won't like to have it. Zero, zero setup, you know, no fiddling with technology, down in the thing and it's go. And in some project, we, for instance, use uh, OpenShift locally or MiniShift and then push to um, Microsoft uh, AKS Asia or uh, GKE or whatever. So, um, and um, of course the same, if I say uh, now I would like to have two replicas, I get two replicas and what I also get, uh, I don't think whether the URI is the same. No, the URI is not the same. There's a different route. So, but you got you got the point, right? So, and um, oh, 
one. So now proceed with the uh, with oh what I just deleted again. Now it's gone again, and I forgot to show you something with Payara. So okay, now Docker. Back to Docker. Docker is up and running, hopefully. So um, we change the Docker file, and now we can do this. And why it doesn't wor didn't work is not because I this was completely wrong. So I had to do the package. So and um, now it will work better. You will see. So um, done. Now. And this is always that fast. So it's full Maven build. Why? Because the war is so small. And now look at this history. Uh, J Spring, and I think it was uh, trains. And uh, okay, lots of history. But as you can see, 14 seconds ago, seven kilobyte immutable layer was created, and all other layers m are probably huge. So we have I just used CentOS because I didn't care. So it was 200 megs, full Java, 200 megs. Full uh, uh, Payara 180 max. That's the largest possible distribution of Payara. Is this? So the whole image are 500 max approximately. But the cool story is, you push the 500 max only, I would say, once a year or three times a year. It really depends how often the servers are released. And 100 times a day, I would push just that. Okay. Cool. Questions. This is my Payara again, so I will just check it whether it works, and I'll show you one small trick. So, uh, no, I cannot show you. Forgot something. Uh, what I wanted to do is f the following: um, uh, we have uh, here a configuration. This is micro profile config. It was in the pink, in the pink resource, and uh, actually I could sh show this um, message, and I concatenated the message, and the message was configured in properties. Microprofile config properties, but can be overridden with database on the force. So what I could do now, let's see whether it actually works. If not, I'll show you something more exciting. So Payara again. So and uh, this was trains, resources, and ping. Cool. Enjoy Jakarta with uh, with that. Now cloud native configuration. So what we see here, we have here the name of the thing is message. So what I actually can do, I can. And by the way, this is the the what tool which I which I used. And um, so, where is my console here? Now I'm trains in the trains again. And what I need is deployments. I go to trains, uh, config uh, environment, and here I can say message. Hello, J Spring, and important you have to save that. And because I saved that, it recognizes somewhere here that the configuration changed and automatically redeploys a new thing. And um, and huh. so what um, can take a while is the load balancer. Now it says now is uh, the load balancer configured? What I forgot to do. The readiness and liveness probes are set up properly, so uh, you see the arrows. Usually, it will wait until it becomes available. You see, hello, JSpring, Jakarta, you use mi micro profile to, to. So, what I did, I overrode my Java E application with Kubernetes deployment config. Questions? No questions. So, um, this uh, war is still 7K. This is the cool story. So, short turnaround cycles, you got. Uh, a lot out of the box. What I wouldn't like to show you today is the uh, distributed tracing because I will have to start Jaeger, but it's also included in the micro profile without any external uh, library. Okay, any questions? So why is that so nice? Usually say a stupid, slow Java E or whatever you are showing us as an old technology and we are not interested anymore. Okay, then uh, I need a uh, St uh, what he said, uh, uh, Strohwaffel, Strohwaffel, uh, set up something else, quirky, Strop, 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 perfect, right? 
It's like uh, in German would be die Waffe, you know, die Weapon. <laughs> this is your, your weapon. Uh, so, something completely different, and um, I would like to stop this. Now it's really running a lot, uh, because the mini shift takes the half of my machine, Docker as well, and the remaining part for whatever I'm doing right now, and everything is already pretty warm here. So, uh, strop waffle. Strop waffle. Uh, so now, what I actually wanted to show you is something else, very briefly, because the speaker after me will show it probably again. Uh, uh, Maven co uh, compile is allowed. This is not uh, clean and not install. And then, uh, and uh, Quarkus dev. And uh, what happens right now, um, this is something different, it's a different take on that. And uh, I would like to open that with an editor. Visual Studio Code, now. NetBeans will also work, but um, it does really doesn't matter. And make it larger. And this is actually the same, a very similar application, what I did before, uh, actually the same. This is uh, pink, and uh, what I could, of course, I could do the same stuff, you know, with the train, it would work the same. This is the point. It is actually the same identical programming model what I did earlier with additional runtime. So far we saw Whitefly, Payara, Open Liberty, and now we see another runtime called Quarkus. And this is what I like. It's not a complete esoteric programming model, but it's something we know. So, okay, um, and it should actually already run. Uh, and the application was Oh, this this was a mistake. <laughs> now you c cannot even help me, right? Because, uh, but I think it was it is just pink. It's pink because it's microservice. You need to remember this drop waffle. I forgot it's Quarkus, so it's just uh, the entry point. And uh, what you also get is uh, metrics. What you also get is the application part. What you also get is the Open API UI out of the box, uh, or yeah, this is the open. Um, this is strange. I think it was UI, but there is exactly the, exactly the same Swagger U, a Swagger UI. This is this was. You see, I'm confused. Different. This was Swagger UI. Sorry. So this is. Um, uh, um, I'm now in different server. So Swagger UI, and um, this is. We should create an issue because this open API is a standard, and UI what Open Liberty is does is reasonable, is better than Swagger UI. But um, yeah, and um, yeah, and um, now, what happens behind the scenes, and how much time do we have? Uh, not a lot, five minutes. So I, I, we will skip the web start, uh, the web part completely. If you are serious, boring stuff in browsers, forget it. Uh, the users actually also could use curl or wget, so even browsers are overestimated. So uh, for, forget the front end. Um, so what we um, so what we can do uh, first, Maven clean install, and I would like to show you something because uh, the first time I see a framework which comes with added value. Usually, you know, you got. Uh, the same runtime repackaged with different name, but uh, what I get right now in target is I get a runner which is not a fetch jar. It is 200k, so of course larger than Java E, but it's still small. And uh, but what you also get is this: a lot of dependencies. But the dependencies are actually Whitefly dependencies or other framework dependencies. But the cool story is now, this is not a fetch jar. So what's already separated is your business logic from the infrastructure. Exactly what I showed you before. So what will mean, I would create a base layer with Quarkus, push it to the cloud, and then just ship the jar, which will be as fast as you saw before with a stock application service. So this is the first thing I liked, and they don't even try to create everything, which is in my, I, I don't even get the point, to create a, the same jar over and over again, or so just 7K change it. Why I should create you know, 20 megs of, the, uh, of, of jar over and over again, and th the inside what changes every build does 7K. Got me? So now, watch this. So I would like to start that. And uh, strope waffle uh, runner. And it couldn't start because it already started. So, uh, but it's not development mode. This is uh, 
So started. And this Quarkus is core key. What I did is, you probably expect, yeah? What I did is I created a Quarkus distribution with the largest possible amount of dependencies. Um, so this is everything from microservice, uh, from microprofile, scheduler, security, JSONB. So this is the, 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 the biggest, slowest possible Quarkus distribution you can get. And for me, it is uh, very similar to Java E. This is the full stack. All microprofile now and so forth. So therefore, I created, I just created, you know, a Maven archetype which creates Quarkus with all extensions I always need. So this is like the full profile in Java E, more or less. So this is very, so therefore, everything is already included. And um, now, what is the benefit? Uh, I think, now let's do clean install this time, just, just for now. And um, minus D, uh, minus P native. And because um, the Quarkus knows all the dependencies, what I can do right now is I create a native image. And this native image is like Go. So I, I get one, li uh, one binary afterwards where I can start and this binary is, it can ship with Docker images without even JVM installed. And uh, what I would like to show, um, this is a Graal VM. And the cool story is, this is my old programming boring model where I just fully focus on business logic. And if I like, I can create a native kernel and launch it. And I would like to show you um, what happens. It, it, yeah. It, uh, it can take you know, one, two minutes, um, depends, because it really has to scan all the dependencies, and there are lots of dependencies. It's a whole micro profile and whatever, and then creates one executable. And I would like to start both and to see you, to show you the, the uh, difference. Because what I confronted in my project is like people say, you know, uh, Java is too heavyweight, it consumes RAM, and whatever you, uh, whatever you will try, it will consume similar amount of RAM. It's not like, you know, it will be uh, uh, considerably smaller because of Java. So on Java 1, I already, if you like, watch YouTube, a session where I compare different servers uh, against Hello World Java. And you can save the most, I would say, 60 megs of RAM per microservice, which is not a lot. But this is surprisingly, ah, I have no cores left. So, um, so uh, th this takes time, but you don't, don't have to do it all the time. And, um, and you cannot hear this? You hear the sound? Sound, yeah. Um, and, but this is GraalVM, which is a great open source project initiated by Oracle. And uh, true innovation. So let's w wait. Oh, we have six, six minutes to go, right? On that note, Let's do this, then show you something else. And uh, I get a lot of questions about Java and security. And what I did, I created a tool, which is really also J Java SE tool. And I, I need it a lot. And what it is, it is, it creates J JWT tokens and microprofile config. And why I need it? I need it for testing. So my production microservices get, you know, the tokens from Keycloak or, or, or uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Active Directory or whatever, depends on the project. But in tests, we need the tokens for testing. And this tool creates JSON web tokens where I can override the production environment with microprofile config and create you know, any roles I like. I can say I'm the chief, I'm the duke, I'm whatever. And, this is w and, and the first time, I can actually show you something with Java security because I'm able to create tokens. Without tokens, I can't show you anything. So now, what I would like to do again, where is my code? Wait a second, here. So what I could do, I could now here say, I would like to have the inject, wow, the principle, and probably I can shut down Docker or something. So principle, principle, Principle. Questions probably until it compiles. Wow, it was never that slow. It usually is like one minute, but this is extremely extreme right now. So some cores are back from Docker. And uh, what I also can do right now, 
inject. This is new. In micro profile, this is Java E8, and now comes micro profile, JSON web, JSON web token, token. And I would like to say add permit all. And now I can say plus this principle get name plus um, plus token and there are token I can set I create my own tokens but what's more most interesting here are the groups because the groups get automatically mapped to roles and uh, I, I wow okay so um, now switch back to this right and then to the tokens okay agreed now um, so watch this target and we have the runner which is native and runner which is pure java so this one is like uh, go 40 max everything included thank you so uh, let's start the java minus jar strop waffle uh, as java and it runs somewhere. Yeah. As you can see, I speak very often, very prepared, and my flow is very obvious what I'm doing. So, um, so um, target, and now. We have the runner and we have the Go library. So do it again. Java minus jar strop waffle runner. And before we start that, I would like to start my activity monitor. And um, and see Java process. And this Java process um, is it already exists. And this is the uh, Visual Studio Code language support, the language server. So we have to forget about that. Um, but uh, start this, and we get now this guy. And let's see. So the Java version uh, takes, huh? Oh, 400 megs, which is a lot. Um, it never was uh, that much, but uh, 400 megs. And now compare that with. No, wait a second. This is the. 400 max is the Visual Studio Code. 400 max would be. So 400 max is the Visual Studio Code. And now do this again. Now, this Java info. This Java. Huh? No idea, but it was uh, like usually 30, 40 megs, whatever. But uh, the, the cool story is now there's no confusion because the strobe waffle is no more Java. So if I start that, you see how quickly it started. Uh, and I, I have to search Java, there's no more Java, it's the runner. And if you take a look at the runner, it's 20 megs of RAM. And the other was like 40, 40, 50, so 400, I, I have no idea why, why it's so big. Um, but it was significantly smaller. It was, I would say, this uh, Quarkus, um, it was uh, as small as, as, let's say, I don't know, tuned white flow or something, right? So, and the startup time is incredible. So this is how the Java application starts with everything, right? So, cool. Now, back to tokens. So do it again. So what happens here, it created for me a uh, curl command for convenience and created some tokens. And what I will, would like to do is I will have to copy the microprofile properties because this has to contain the public key. Uh, the, uh, the token is verified by the, with the public key and I have the private key so I can create the tokens. This is the whole deal of the JSON Web Token Security. And uh, source main resources, and I think uh, this is application property. So this is named differently, but this is a micro profile. What's inside? This is basically just the public key, nothing else. And this is standardized what they, how the key should be, right? 
So now uh, I can launch Maven compile Quarkus. Oh, Quarkus dev. Cool, it started, so nothing runs behind the scenes. And um, now I could just take that and I'll show you why it's so complicated. Because I, I have to create a header, authorization bearer token. And at the end, I had my ping, right? I think it was ping. So as you can see, what I get back is hello, Duke, hacker chief. So what it means is um, my hello, principal, and groups. Okay. So what I can do right now, I can say my JSON web token. What I would like to have is here uh, train expert, right? So and then I will do the same. So JSON tokenizer, where is it? Then pick that because this already encodes the information, and say pink and train expert. So I can specify the roles back and forth. I use it a lot in system tests. And the first time I was actually able to show you something because my usually answer shows, show us Java E security. What I always said is there is nothing to show because what you only have to do is, you know, to put the annotation on it and it works. And you, you won't believe me what I see in projects, web XML with path and whatever, it's actually nothing needed. So this, is, uh, this will work actually with all application servers. The only difference, for unknown reason, Quarkus uses application properties and the Payara, Open Liberty, Whitefly and so forth are using uh, how it should be MP config properties. So the name is different. Okay, uh, unfortunately, no web, but no one was interested in web anyway. But uh, the idea is actually my web talks, what I show you is very similar to this. Delete all the frameworks. You only focus on web standards and you never ever will have to migrate. So this is, and this is what I do in all my projects. So uh, I just don't use any libraries anymore. So any questions? So this is what's really strange. There are no questions. Usually no Java user groups are very interactive community, but no questions. So you saw whatever I could show you. All runtimes I use actually, except Tommy. I wanted to put Tommy somewhere, but the next time I will use more Tommy. But all the servers are similar. And the cool story is, the gist is, you know, the boring stuff is stable, microprofile, fast innovation, and uh, runtimes like Quarkus are very well integrated with Kubernetes. And actually, I didn't even push Quarkus to Kubernetes. I pushed the old servers to Kubernetes, right? Because Quarkus will be even better. So um, thank you for coming and enjoy the conference. <laughs>